Testing. Howdy. The message I have for you today is very short. And very simple to understand. It is not so trivial to carry out, but I think it's important. As I was thinking, it occurred to me that most of the problems in our lives seem to stem from one of three things. We don't know the truth, we don't live the truth, or someone else doesn't know or live the truth. Now it's sometimes almost impossible to change someone else's life, but it is possible, if difficult, to change our own lives. So what I'm saying to you is find the truth and live with that truth in mind. And how do you do that? Well, I think becoming good at living is much like becoming good at anything else. You research, think, watch others, and learn from your own mistakes. It might also be compared to a science experiment in which you form a hypothesis, test it thoroughly, and objectively look at the results. In the same way, I think you should test what you believe in to make sure that it is truth. Don't be too quick to discard something you think is right, especially if it stood the test of time. But don't be afraid to question and think through even your foundational beliefs. And if need be, change them. Because otherwise, you'll be spending your valuable life on worthless things. And the truth, or at least what I consider to be the truth, that I'd like to leave with you today, the truth that has kept and will keep me going throughout my life, is that Jesus is God, who came to earth as a man, died to pay for my wrongs, rose from the dead, and gave me life so that I could spend eternity with him. All the good that is in me, or has come to me, I owe to him. And also to my parents, who teach me to believe in him, and my friends, who encourage me with their words and lives when I doubt. If you find your life empty, or don't know where to turn, go to him. He said he wouldn't turn away anyone who goes to him. So simply, find the truth, live with that truth in mind, and enjoy doing it. Thank you. Timothy, thank you very much. I was wondering what happened to my speech. Anyway, before I begin, I would like to bring everyone's attention to a new scholarship that has been begun by our class. Um, attending the North Lawrence Scholarship Foundation last night, David Byers had an inspiration. It seems that most of the scholarships are geared towards tuition, books, supplies, and room and board. Well, my sister, being in college, made me recognize some other needs, such as laundry money. And since college students do not get franking privileges, we need money to buy stamps. Uh, we need some recreation, entertainment money, and 
if you want to get out, perhaps some dating money. So, the class of 93 has decided to offer the change in your pocket scholarship to a 94 recipient. What we would like to do, we have set up a bucket at the east gate on the visiting side. And as you leave, please donate the change in your pocket for the change in the pocket scholarship. On to my speech. As I was thinking, what, what should I say to these wonderful classmates, graduates? Oh, first of all, I'd like to recognize the uh, superintendent, faculty, school board, parents, tassel, fellow graduates. I was looking for ideas of what to say. I got quite a few. Um, my brother, he's already gone through graduation last year, and his valedictorian said a wonderful speech about birds flying in the air. Dan said that was really stupid. So I can't talk about birds flying in the air. I asked the administration, they had a few restrictions, too. One, this is a real bummer, I cannot incite the people to riot. If we held it in the gym, I couldn't yell fire. And worst of all, I couldn't be obscene. Anyway, I went on, and I asked my grandmother, Grandma, what should I say? She said, goodbye. It's been fun and good luck. I thought, well, let's embellish it a bit. So I asked my good friend Lou. He said, speak from the heart. That's what I'm going to do. Many of you have already heard this, and I feel that there are many of you who have not. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. That'd be really nice, wouldn't it? Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never ends. What's this love business? Well, to me, when the Exchange Club asked me, what is my most important, my, well, my greatest achievement, and I had to say it was my friends. My friends um, is are, is, grammar stuff. My greatest achievements. Relationships. What makes a good relationship? Love. The caring you show. The smile as you walk down the hallway. A simple hello. People. People is where it's at. In your life, as you go, and as you have been going, people are where it's at. Abraham Maslow realized that when he came up with the hierarchy of needs. First of all, you have your physiological needs, your hunger and thirst. Before anything else can be met, you must eat and drink. Otherwise, you cannot, or almost always cannot, think of anything else. Number two, your safety needs. If you don't, do not have shelter or perhaps financial stability, you probably won't think of much else after that. Third, your belongingness need. You cannot survive well without friendship and closeness. I believe the class of 93 strongly realizes this, that closeness between people is very important. It says in the Bible, to gain eternal life, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. If you love your neighbor as yourself, you will not only satisfy yours, but also his belongingness needs. He needs your friendship and closeness. Number four on Abraham Maslow's list, self-esteem needs. The liking and respecting of yourself. When you say, love your neighbor as yourself, you must ask yourself also, well, who is my neighbor? And also, if I don't like myself, how am I supposed to like my neighbor? 
That's where self-esteem comes in. And getting to know many of you, I don't think there's one bad apple in the whole bunch. I mean, if you want a self-esteem boost, come to me, I'll help you out. In the 70s, the me generation came along. It was a period uh, when people placed personal fulfillment and pleasure before other considerations. Well, I'd rather that we become the you generation. Like, how can I help you? What do you need? How can I help you belong? Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves and practice hospitality. Thank you. Do I get to play? I'm going to be brief, but uh, please remind me that in the event Dave and I should both go into politics, don't let me run against him. With your permission, I'm going to begin at the beginning. The first chapter of the book of Genesis can be summed up with the two words, God created. In the beginning, God created. And this opening, with minor variations, is common to nearly all of the world's religions. A defining characteristic of any deity is the ability to create. Genesis goes on to say that God created man in his own image. What is meant by this? Well, the image given thus far of God is that of a creator. It follows, then, that man also is a creator. It is this ability to create that sets man apart from his fellow beasts. No other creature has the ability to generate thought, to create speech, to design plans for the future. We are unique in our ability to create. But this inventiveness is double-edged. Man's creativity, twisted to a dark purpose, produced Auschwitz, turned the grand city of Petersburg into Leningrad, and reduced Hiroshima to so much radioactive ash. But, when used as it was intended, our ability to create something new has yielded liberal democracy and the concept of civil liberties, the symphonies of Beethoven, the Voyager space probes, and jazz. A wise man once told me that there are two kinds of people in the world. There are the artists, and there are the pedestrians. We all exist. We have very little choice in the matter. But some people go no further than this, this mere existing. They are the pedestrians. They do not create anything, nor do they appreciate the creations of others. But the artists, they do not merely exist, they live. It is the artists that utilize their unique ability to create. I am not referring here only to painters and poets and musicians and sculptors. There are artists that will never sell their work, or have an exhibit in a museum, the diplomats that strive to make peace in the world, the teachers that try to educate us, the doctors that struggle to preserve life, the counselors that try to patch together broken lives, the clergy that minister to our souls. They are all artists trying to create, to add some harmony to the world. I encourage you all, my fellow classmates and our friends and relatives, to become in life not mere passerby, pedestrians, but an artist, a creator, that you may add something to this world and make it all the more richer a place to live. Parents, family, friends, faculty, and staff, it is impossible to express our thanks to you for your encouragement, guidance, understanding, support, friendship, teaching, and love. You have helped open our futures to happiness and success. With our most sincere hearts, we thank you. 
Graduates, it's our time. Seize the moment. Let's enjoy the ceremony in honor of all of us who have accomplished this great goal worth 13 years of hard work. As we receive our diplomas, take pride in the past and hope for the future. These certificates, they're our keys to opportunity, but let's not let it stop at that. A car key isn't worth anything if it isn't used for a purpose. We must keep striving for bigger and better things. A high school diploma, it's a great accomplishment, sorry. But unfortunately, that's all that some will make of it. We need to use it to our betterment by applying the qualities that we developed from our experiences at home, at BNL, and with our friends. We need courage to face each day, patience to enjoy our pleasures, service to help others while establishing good relations, and finally, love, because love creates happiness and love heals all wounds. Then with all of these characteristics, combined with hard work and determination, we, have, we can accomplish each goal that we set before ourselves. I wish that everyone will be successful. For some, this may mean wealth or prosperity, for others, social status. But for me, it is to live in peace and serve my God and mankind. Don't judge yourself by others' measures, for as Christopher Morley once stated, there is only one success to be able to spend your life in your own way. Everyone is an individual. Everyone has different accomplishments. Everyone has different goals. We all can't be the president of a business. We all can't be the most popular student. And not everyone will have a beautiful appearance. But if everyone were the same, nobody would be unique and the world would be dull. Each individual is needed for who he is. As Paul said in 1 Corinthians 12, for in fact the body is not one member but many. If the foot said, because I am not a hand, I am not part of the body, is it not part of the body? Or if the ear said, because I am not an eye, I am not part of the body, is it not part of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where would it hear? Or if the whole body were an ear, where would it smell? If the whole, <clears throat> if all were one part, where would the body be? Instead, there are many parts, but one body. The student body works the same. We are many different individuals, yet we all work together for the good of our school, our community, our country, and essentially all of humanity. If we were all alike, we could not function in this way. And the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need for you. But instead, those members of the body that seem to be weaker than others are necessary. And those that we think are less honorable, we bestow greater honor, and our unpresentable parts have greater modesty, but our presentable parts have no need that the members should have the same care for one another. 349 students were needed for this class to be complete, and 349 the same students are needed in everyday surroundings to make this whole community, a, well, for the whole world to be complete. Finally, Remember where you've been and keep in sight what lies in your future, striving to be your best. Thank you. Good night. Will the members of the class of 1993 please rise? Mr. Peck. These members of the class of 1993 have met the requirements for graduation as set forth by the State of Indiana and the Board of School Trustees of the North Lawrence Community Schools. Therefore, upon the recommendation of the faculty of Bedford North Lawrence High School, I hereby certify these students to you as candidates for graduation. Mr. Glenn has certified that you have fulfilled the requirements for graduation by the State of Indiana and the North Lawrence Community Schools. Therefore, as with great pleasure, I declare you to be graduates of Bedford North Lawrence High School. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of 1993.
Would all of the graduates except row one please be seated? Timothy Ray Housel. David Jonathan Schuth. Lanessa Hope Curran. Daniel Eric Schultz. Tiana June Adcock. Toby Jean Adams. Heather Marie Egan. Jason Ray Amstutz. Angela Michelle Alexander. Bradley Howard Anderson. Kelly K. Ammon. Joshua David Armstrong. Marion Evelyn Anderson. Todd William Armstrong. Brandy Lynn Armstrong. Jeremy Van Ashebrainer. Mandy Rena Arsenal. Christopher Michael Atchison. Kai Ann Baker. Michelle Dawn Banks. You may be seated. Row two, please rise. Lori Marie Bartlett. Adam D. Bear. Christy Lynn Ball. Michael Joseph Baker. Crystal Dawn Ball. Samuel Preston Barnett.
Misty Dawn Blackwell. Christopher Lewis Barrett. Margaret Ann Blake. Cody Carl Bartlett. Kathy Sue Blevins. Alan Wayne Beavers. Casey D. Bolton. Jeffrey William Bell. Stacy Renee Buffany. Michael Henry Bergman. Crystal Dawn Brashear. David Brandon Byers. April Dawn Bridges. Darren Scott Blackburn. You may be seated. Row three, please rise. Lisa Dawn Brooking. Brent Lyman Blackwell. Stacy Leah Brooking. Robert Wayne Blackwell. Nicole Danielle Brooks. Matthew Thomas Blake. Brandy Lee Brown. Andrew Michael Brenner. Catherine Sue Buckingham. Shane Robert Brock. Jennifer Ann Boer. Sean Dennis Brock. Amy Catherine Butler. Edward Lee Brown. Gloria Jean Cahill. Evan Dwayne Brown. Dawn Nicole Caraway. Stephen Daniel Bunch.
Laura Diane Carmichael. Randall Burnett. You may be seated. Row four, please rise. Julia Ann Chase. Greg Allen Butler. Amanda Brooke Christian. John Thomas Canada. Angela Gail Clodfelter. Jefferson Kyle Chase. Susan Renee Cochran. Bert Cobb. Christy Elaine Canada. Jason Eric Cobb. Jacqueline Dean McLean. Aaron E. Collier. Amber N. Craig. Kyle Philip Cox. Bridget Adele Craig. Toby L. Cox. Sandra Ann Davis. John W. Crane. Sarah Davis Fisher. John Ryan Cummings. You may be seated. Row five, please rise. Heather Dawn Deckard. Jeremy Michael Davis. Kelly Sean Deckard. Jerry Wade Davis. Amanda Jo Decker. R. Reed Denniston.
Marvella Renee Delphia. Bradford Reed Enix. Brandy Joe Dobkins. John Anthony Farless. Jessica Dawn Dorset. Chad Michael Farmer. Angela Marie Duncan. Jason Kirk Fields. Samantha Ellen Earl. Jeffrey Scott Fleetwood. Charity Joe East. Michael David Flynn. Lisa Gale East. David Freeze. You may be seated, rows six and seven, please rise. Ashia Lee Dawn Edwards. Shad Dwight Gilbert. Amanda Jo Emmons. William Claude Russell Gillum. Doralee Joe Farnsley. Ronnie Dean Gowen. Jackie Dion Fabian. Joshua Michael Graham. Kara Dawn Fields. Dustin Scott Grubb. Catherine Allison Fish. Troy Neal Guthrie. Heather Dawn Fish. Traven Mark Hamilton. Tammy Gail Fletcher. Trent Stephen Harbstrite.
Kathleen Aaron Flynn. Justin Jeremiah Harrison. Mindy Lee Flynn. Matthew Vincent Hart. Crystal Leanne George Burton. Jason Clay Hignite. Melissa Sue Gibson. James Michael Holbrook. Natalie Ann Gooden. Rudy Wayne Holt. Amanda Jo Hale. Michael Shea Hooten. Heather Dawn Hale. Toby Wayne Howe. Jennifer Louise Hamke. Jason Lee Hudson. Julie Ann Hanners. Juliet Louise Hardesty. Sean Michael Hughes. Brandy Jo Harrell. Travis Ernest Hutchison. Jama Danielle Hash. Derek Todd Ingersoll. You may be seated, rows eight and nine. Please rise. Amy Lynn Haskett. William Earl Ingram. Maria Concepcion Harris Hernandez. Jeremy W. Jackson. Joy Elizabeth Louise Hickman. Christina Ann Hildebrand. Shannon Jeffrey Johnson. Amanda K. Hillenberg.
James Trenton Jones. Allison Jane Holmes. Stephen James Jones. Kelly Felicia Hughes. Rodney Dean Kern. Krista Jolene Hughes. Rusty D. Key. Jennifer Sue Hutchinson. Barry Shane King. Amanda K. Eichard. Josh Clayton King. Sherry Lynn Jankowski. Matthew Franklin Kirk. April Dawn Jeffers. Jonah Danielle Jenkins. Michael Joe Knight the second. Carrie A. Johnson. John Matthew Koss. Danielle Renee Kimmel. Todd Allen Cresser. Heather Marie Kinder. Jason Michael Cooster. Valerie Ann King. Lori Lynn Kurtz. Timothy Wayne Livingston. Angela Claire Lake. Jason Love. Christina Lee Lannon. Bradley Stephen Lovell. You may be seated. Rows 10 and 11, please rise. Nancy Elizabeth Lichty. Jason Allen Luttrell.
Christy Maya Leonard. Charles Emery Martin IV. Misty Sue Luttrell. Christopher J. Martin. Rachel Damaris Lux. Emmy Ann May. Scott Martin. Stephanie Sean McCain. Christopher David May. Andrea Nicole McDonald. Gregory Scott May. Cheryl L. McGinnis Davis. Todd Allen McBride. Shara Ann McGrew. Kyle Stephen Meyer. Crystal Gail Miller. Aaron Dale Miller. Lori Nicole Mills. Andrew Thomas Miller. Melinda Susan Mills. Michael Stephen Miller. Brant Billy Joe Mitchell. Robert Scott Millett the second. Michelle Ann Mitchell. Michelle Marie Morley. Jeffrey Michael Mosier. Carrie Lynn Morrison. James Carter Mount. Cassandra Nicole Morrison. Owen Corey Monday. Carrie Ann Morrow. Jeremy Todd Nation.
Shannon Renee Mullis. Jason Roy Neely. Julia Ann Nadu. Brandon Keith New. You may be seated. Rows 12, 13, and 14, please rise. DeAndrea Ray Napier. Matthew Sean Nykirk. Cynthia Dawn Neely. Brett Dale Parker. Jacqueline Suzanne Neff. Rinko Narinda Patel. Angelina Dawn Nykirk. Terry L. Pemberton. Ginger R. Nykirk. Danny Wayne Phillips, Jr. Amy Lee Norman. Brian Dale Platiter. Crystal Dawn Page. Corey James Plocker. Bobby Lee Paquin. William Joseph Powell. Autumn Renee Payton. Sean Christopher Pruitt. Charity Ann Phillips. Ronnie Gerald Prince. Shelley Renee Poindexter. Charles Robert Ragsdale. Kimberly Nicole Pruitt. Gary Dale Rainbow. Mindy Sue Rains. Matthew Lee Rainey. <laughs> Melissa D. Ratkovich. <laughs> J. 
Jamie Robert Reckelhoff. Brooke Taylor Riggs. John Donald Reed. Melinda Marie Ritchie. Rodney Ritter. Amy M. Robrek. Matthew Everett Robbins. Angela Renee Root. Brian Heath Roberts. Rhonda Renee Rungi. Eugene A. Robinson. Mama. Kelly Marie Ryan. Kevin D. Robertson. Sandra Nadine Skaggs. Brent Allen Russell. Stormy Dawn Scherschel. Jackson Sargent. Aaron D. Schmidt. Rusty Wallace Shepherd. Debbie Lynn Schoonmaker. Shannon T. Sherrill. Amber Nicole Scott. Christopher M. Shiflett. Leslie Marie Scott. Andrew Jacob Short. Amy Lynn Shaver. T. Clay Smith. Angela Dawn Shirley. Kyle Stephen Smith. Carla Denise Sipes. Brian Edward Smoot. Laura Ann Sluter. Nathan Wayne Snow.
You may be seated. Rows 15, 16, and 17. Please rise. Melissa Dawn Sluter. Bryce David Spaulding. Marcy Lynn Snow. Jason Kyle Spear. Stephanie Diana Southern. James Ray Staley. Vicki Stidham Stickford. Roger Keith Staley. Daniel Dwayne Stancombe. Holly Beth Street. Sean Micah Starr. Tara Lee Tarr. J. Corey Stevens. Lori Marie Teague. Tony Nelson Thacker. Letitia Marie Terrell. Bradley Harold Thompson. Laura May Terry. Brian Scott Thompson. Alida Mariva Tolustek. Robert Allen Thompson. Melissa Jane Todd. Matthew Ronald Tolliver. Rachel Elizabeth Todd. Sean Michael Tolliver. Emma Louise Turner. David Shane Turpin. April Dawn Turpin. Christopher Michael Tyree. Tanya A. Voorhees.
Heather Deanne Wade. Robert Clinton Utley. Deatra Nicole Wagoner. Derek Paul Voorhees. Julia Marie Walker. Aaron Edward Wagner. Amy Sue Walters. Michael Joseph Wagner. Wendy Dawn Walters. Christopher J. Waldron. Nicole Warren. Jeremy Guy Weddle. Krista Renee Watson. Charles E. Wells. Carrie Dale Whitehead. Jared Lee Wilcoxon. Stacy Christine Rather. Cody Matt Williams. Stephanie Lynn Rather. James Stephen Wisely. Misty Dawn Younger. Jason Larry Ray. Brandon Aaron Wright. Sydney Stewart Zell. You may be seated. The following are graduating in absentia. Jason David Kirkman, Damon Cian Martin, Gina Stone, Stephen C. Underwood. This is dedicated in memory of our friend and fellow classmate, Allison Hash.
dreams God's planted in the fertile soil of you can't believe the hopes he's granted means a chapter in your life is through and we'll keep you close as always it won't even seem you go cause our hearts in big and small ways will keep the love that keeps us And a friend's a friend forever, if the Lord's a Lord of them. And a friend will not say never, cause the welcome will not end. Though it's hard to let you go, in the Father's hands we know, that a lifetime's not too long to live as friends. With the faith and love God's given Spring from the hopes we know Can't believe the joy you're living Is the strength that now you show And we'll keep you close our hearts in big and small ways will keep love that keeps us strong and a friend's a friend forever if the Lord's a Lord of them and a friend will not say never cause the welcome Will not end. Though it's hard to let you go, in the Father's hands we know that a lifetime's not too long to live as friends. And a friend's a friend forever, if the Lord's a Lord of them. And a friend will not say to let you go in the Father's hands we know that a lifetime's not too long to live as friends no a lifetime's not too long to live as friends On behalf of the class of 1993, I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who got us where we are today. Parents, teachers, friends, and the community should all be commended. Vince Lombardi once said, the quality of a person's life is in direct proportion to their commitment to excellence, regardless of their chosen field of endeavor. My fellow classmates, when we leave here tonight, we will all go our separate ways, 
never again to be high school students. Some are going to college, some into the workforce, and some into the military. I want to encourage each and every one of you to strive to do the best in whatever you do. Make a commitment to excellence. Would the members of the Bedford North Lawrence High School Class of 1993 please rise. As your president, classmate, and friend, I wish all of you the very best in the future. Now join with me in changing our chat tassels from left to right.